From the TraderGuy.com, this is Chris. I'm taking a look at the upcoming eighth in the New Zealand dollar. And this is going to be more or less a report on the New Zealand dollar, I think, over the next couple of weeks. We are starting to enter that time of year where currency markets tend to go a little bit flat. And I think the New Zealand dollar is giving us uh, uh, something to pay attention to. And this is a little bit counterintuitive for those of you who follow me. You know, you guys know that I love round numbers. 0 0.70 makes sense that we would see support here. Perhaps we could get a bounce and really take off. Uh, and typically I will lay out large round numbers as you can see 75 and 70. Now the reason it's not as exciting to me right now is uh, the first clue is that 200 day moving average is relatively flat. Now when I zoom out, and I'm zooming way out on the uh, daily chart, you can make an argument for consolidation since basically this time in 2016. So the last two years we've been in a trading range. When I look at this, it's very easy for me to make an argument for the 0 0.68 handle as support. Now it's a messy support area. You could also say 0 0.69 I suppose could hold up as well. And at that point, you could look at this as a market that um, continues to see a lot of noise. I think we're going to struggle for clarity until we get to the outer range. Um, when I zoom out to the week, I'm going to zoom back in so we can see this a little more clearly, then it kind of shows itself up. I think what we're looking at here is the likelihood of a week or two of a bounce and then another attempt to break down through 70. I don't think we break down through 68. Uh, so when I look at the daily chart, although this would typically be an area of great excitement and uh, I'd point out this 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. So there's a lot of positive signs here, but I don't think we break above 71 and a half. Short-term buyers may come in, but with this type of negativity, I find it easier to wait for the market to come back and then simply follow the uh, momentum because clearly we're oversold, but the momentum is to the downside currently. Whether or not we break down through 68, I don't think so, but we could, uh, but it would still be well within the tolerance of normalcy if we get down there. So that's why I think we get a little bit of a rally. I think eventually we'll roll over and we will build up the necessary momentum to break the back of 70, go looking towards 68. So I'm still bearish of this pair. I just think that, uh, you know, we may have a little bit of a bounce here ahead of us. Uh, in order to pick up value in the greenback. And in fact, it looks to me like this summer might be good for the greenback in general.